In 1952, Grumman started Project G-98, which was a privately funded effort to modernize the Grumman F-9F Cougar. The design had potential for supersonic performance, which made the U.S. Navy interested. Eventually, the design had very little resemblance to the Cougar. The U.S. Navy ordered two prototypes, designated the XF-9F-8, later redesignated the XF-9F-9. The first prototype, which had no afterburner, flew for the first time July 30, 1954. Despite the lack of afterburner, the prototype nearly reached Mach 1 on the first flight. The second prototype had an afterburner, and it did reach Mach 1. In April 1955, the aircraft was redesignated the F-11F-1, which in 1962 was changed to F-11A. Carrier trials started in April 1956. The F-11 was withdrawn from carrier operations after only four years, since its performance was inferior to the Vought F-8 Crusader. Also, the Wright J-65 engine had proved to be unreliable. Although the Tiger was withdrawn from carrier operations in 1961, it remained in service at the Naval Air Training Command until the late 1960s. It was used to give students some supersonic experience, before they moved on to other fighters. On September 21, 1956, pilot Tom Attridge test-fired his cannon, while performing a shallow dive in his F-11 Tiger. Unfortunately, he flew into the cannon rounds, disabling the aircraft and forcing him to crash land. This is the first recorded incident of an aircraft shooting down itself. 200 F-11 Tigers were produced, and it was retired from service in 1967, although the Blue Angels Flight Demonstration Squadron used it until 1969.